Hi, I'm Kinkas and I'm a Synth DIY guy. Welcome to today's video, which is the first installment in a series of videos focused on the Bowfrog XL by Erica Synth, which is this humongous behemoth of a synth over here. Uh, this is the teacher's edition of the Bowfrog and uh, this is the student edition of the Bowfrog. As you can see, they're quite similar, just very different in size. Right, and where this one is meant to be on the student's desk, this one is meant to be at the front of the classroom for the teacher for whom this video is intended. Actually, these videos are meant to help teachers understand the synth so they can use this tool to teach uh, sound synthesis and sound design in the classroom. So, without further ado, this first video is going to be an introduction to the synth and a rundown of all its features and modules. And then the second video will be the first module, third video will be the second module, and so on and so forth. So, let's just get right down to it. What this has is one oscillator, right? The voltage controlled oscillator. And we call them voltage controlled because you can control the pitch and the shape of the waveform that's being generated with an external control voltage, right? That can be generated by a keyboard, by a sequencer, an LFO, or any other source of, of control voltage. The Bofrog XL also has a very nice low pass voltage controlled filter called VCF over here. It has a mixer. I should have mentioned the mixer before the filter. The mixer mixes both the waveforms that are generated by the VCO as well as a noise generator that's in the machine. And you have the mix out over here that you can then route to the filter or directly to the VCA or directly to the master output and so on. This is a modular synthesizer in the sense that it's made up of modules that are not interconnected until you connect them with cables. And the reason for that, some synthesizers that look like this are actually semi-modular where a lot of the connections are pre-made which is called normal or normalized. And that makes things easier for the musician, but since this is a teaching synthesizer, it uh, is much better for the user to have to patch because that makes sure that they actually understand what's happening with the signal flow. You personally connect the modules one to the other in order to create the sounds that you want to create. And that helps solidify the concepts of signal flow and sound synthesis. So it's a modular synthesizer, it's got a VCO, it's got a filter, it's got a mixer, it's got a voltage controlled attenuator or voltage controlled amplitude or voltage controlled amplifier. You can call it either one of those three things, which also has a built-in delay effect, which is just a, like an echo, a repetition kind of an effect that gives it a kind of uh, ambient sound. We also have two envelope generators right, number one and number two. There's a sample and hold module. There's a master section. And that's it for the modules, but it also has a couple of utilities like a slew generator over here. We'll get into what that does in time. An attenuverter, a splitter, and a divider. And then to round it all out, we have a really beautiful large screen uh, oscilloscope over here and this is very important to help visualize the waveforms and visualize the, the activity of the voltages that are generated in the synthesizer. We also have two very nice large speakers. The little one has just a single small speaker here that sounds very tinny. I mean it does the job on a pinch but uh, it doesn't sound that great. It doesn't sound as good as headphones or external speakers. But this guy, the big one, actually has two very nice sized speakers. So it actually sounds pretty good on its own. But of course, you can still connect it to speakers or headphones if uh, you'd rather do that. Which probably be best for a classroom anyway. But regardless, it's there. And then I think the last thing that I didn't mention is the card system. Up here, there's a card slot. In fact, it's the same card slot that you can see on the Bullfrog, the little one. You have one of these up here and what this does is it allows you to create your own preset cards right so what these as you can see these are basically 
uh, they mimic the connections that are available in the front panel of the Bullfrog XL and you can use little wires and solder to make the same connections that you'd make with cables you can make them in one of these little cards and when you stick the card up here it makes those connections for you so if you like a particular routing scheme that you made you can replicate that on the card and then next time you want to use that same routing scheme all you have to do is stick the card in there you don't have to plug the cables in here so that creates the normalizations like i was mentioning before now aside from the diy card there are also cards made by erica since themselves that come with the bullfrog xl like this one is the baseline and basically it creates a basic subtractive patch like you would find on a mini moog or an odyssey or something like that where it's just the oscillator to the filter to the vca vca and filter controlled by envelope generators keyboard control so you can make bass lines or melodies and so on. This would make it basically a semi-modular synthesizer like I mentioned before. There are also some other really interesting ones like this is the electric organ which uses the divider function to create four different octaves which you can then control the amplitude of with the built-in faders in the card itself. You stick that here and uh, you can just plug in a keyboard and already you can see the divider doing its job here the rate of the sample and hold and so on actually the rate of the sample and hold had nothing to do with that <laughs> i can pull it out now and uh, there's this other really cool card which is a sampler and looper see and this one actually has a microphone you can record external sounds to it you can manipulate the playback speed you can do a whole bunch of things and this also plugs right in there uh, so some of these cards expand the functionality of the synthesizer. Some of them just uh, use what's already available. This one has a sequencer. It's a five-step sequencer, but you can use a switch here to change it from three to four to five. You can use an LFO or a gate as a source. You can turn on and off steps. This one is a high-pass filter, right? So the synth comes with a low-pass filter, but if you want to use... To create a bandpass filter, for example, by combining both the low pass and this high pass, or if you just want to use a high pass, then you have a card for that. There will always be more cards available as Erica Synths continues to develop more really interesting expansion cards for the Bullfrog. The cards will work on both the Bullfrog XL as well as the small bullfrog, the student bullfrog. The Bullfrog XL also has a MIDI input, which allows you to connect any kind of MIDI keyboard or sequencer or any kind of MIDI controller and control it that way. The MIDI connection gets made automatically so that uh, gates trigger the envelopes and pitch controls the, uh, the oscillator. But we're not gonna be using MIDI because this keyboard actually has analog outputs and I prefer to use that because it makes the whole process much more understandable and clear as far as what's going on under the hood. So we're not gonna use MIDI, we're just gonna use my Keystep Pro here as an analog keyboard controller for the Bullfrog XL. And I think that's it as far as an introduction to the synth and to this series of videos. So again, these are videos aimed at teachers who will want to use the Bullfrog XL to teach synthesis and sound design in the classroom. And so I'm gonna try to give ideas about not only what each module does and experiments that can be done with it, but also certain activities uh, that you can suggest to your students for them to become acquainted with each module. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. See you soon and stay noisy.